If you thought the MAGA claims about the 2020 election were crazy, just wait. Trump lunatics are now claiming a Democratic effort to steal the 2024 election. They say it's already underway, even though we're more than six months from any general election ballots being cast. The parade of insanity is being led by former Trump advisor Steve Bannon. The only way they defeat Trump is to steal it. The only way they, they defeat Trump is they steal it. The only way they defeat Trump is they steal it. He is unstoppable. Trump is unstoppable, says Bannon. Despite polls showing that Joe Biden is now beating Donald Trump, surveys that reveal 25% of Republican voters will not vote for Trump, and other polls pushing the anti-Trump GOP number even higher, when voters are asked about a scenario where Donald Trump gets convicted on any charges in his four criminal trials. It's worth noting that a 2023 study found Steve Bannon's War Room podcast was the top peddler of false, misleading, and unsubstantiated statements among political podcasts. Clearly, Bannon is trying to keep that streak going. In his most recent unhinged screed, Bannon took his claims about President Biden being illegitimate to a new level. Despite no evidence in any courtroom or on Bannon's show, Bannon insists Democrats rigged the 2020 election. There are no issues with the 2020 election. They stole it. Let me repeat that. They stole it. And they hate when we say this. They stole it. And they're on notice. They're not going to be able to steal it again. People are doing a ton of work on this, and that's still not enough, but it's going to get better. The hairy eyeball is going to be on them. Hairy eyeball? I believe that's a reference to suspicion, but it could be Bannon projecting about his own personal hygiene if and when he goes to prison. A jury found Bannon guilty of contempt of Congress for refusing to turn over documents to the House Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol insurrection. Bannon was sentenced to four months in prison, but he remains out of prison pending the result of his appeal. Well, one can only hope the appeals process will move along quickly and Bannon will soon be jailed. Apologies in advance to his fellow inmates. There is every indication Steve Bannon played a central role in promoting and organizing the events of January the 6th. Ironically, over on Fox News, another MAGA lunatic says January 6th was predetermined by Democrats. Tommy Lahren is not exactly the brightest bulb on that channel, and her logic here is nearly impossible to follow. But watch just the same. January 6th itself seems like it had a predetermined, pre-planned outcome. It would seem as though that there are certain folks on the left and the right that wanted this to happen. Why else would they put the Capitol in a vulnerable position, knowing good and well that something could happen, something horrible could happen? That was a horrible day. Let's not mince words. It wasn't a good day for Trump supporters. It wasn't a good day for Republicans. It wasn't a good day for our country. But it really makes you wonder, Sean, what else they're hiding about that day that they don't want the American public and the American people to know. Because a lot of their cases, their lawfare against Donald Trump, Trump revolves around January 6th and the so-called insurrection. What are government authorities hiding about January the 6th? Well, if there are things that remain hidden about the insurrection, it's because of people like Steve Bannon. Again, he was a top Trump advisor. He helped guide the Trump war room for the January 6th rally. And he refuses to talk about any of this to provide documents and testimony that might shed more light on what transpired. Maybe... Steve Bannon somehow worked with Nancy Pelosi to leave the Capitol vulnerable and possibly hang Mike Pence because that effort would help Donald Trump. How? Oh, that's right. Laren says January 6th was all a plot to harm Donald Trump in 2024. You know, the democratic powers of clairvoyance, they must be in play. But Tommy, if that was the case, why wouldn't Steve Bannon shed light on the sorcery he witnessed? Oh, I know, because you MAGA lunatics are a bunch of idiots. Seriously. And now MAGA morons refuse to look at reality and see that Donald Trump is in campaign trouble because of Donald Trump. So when Steve Bannon says Trump is unstoppable in 2024, Bannon, he might be correct, just not in the way he intends. Trump cannot stop himself from ruining the GOP, flipping the House to Democratic control, and losing to Joe Biden once again. Because the fact is, while Biden is old, he is not a deranged narcissist facing criminal charges and threatening our democracy. He's not. Trump is. By the way, Fox host Janine Pirro has been caught slurring her words again and spewing a steady stream of lies. Let me ask you a question. When you're on the air, do you, do you have a couple drinks before you go on? Never. Because I watched you one time and you were slurring your words a little bit. I was never slurring my words. On, when you were on your show, on Judge Jeannie, you were slurring your words a little bit. 
but that's what we like about it. We, that's, we're like, this funny. is what's fun about the show. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.